In this video, I would like to give you an overview of the visualization capabilities within Catman Analysis Mode. After a few preliminary remarks on panels and print pages, I will explain the visualization elements in detail. In particular, I will go into detail about the visualization elements that are not available in the online visualizations. First to the panels. Even in analysis mode, you can display visualization objects at any position and in any size on one or more panels. As soon as you drag a measuring channel onto the graph, a post-process graph is created immediately. You will find all other visualization objects in the menu bar. Even in analysis mode, you can adjust the size of the objects in a panel by zooming in or out. As the name suggests, you can use the print page to adjust the visualization objects so that the display is optimized for printing. To do this, you define the page format, margins, header, and footer. Please note that the printable area depends largely on the printer used. As an alternative to using the print option, I recommend reporting with Word. I will explain this in more detail in another video. I will now show you the most important visualization objects. Real-time displays are of course not available in analysis mode, but there is a whole range of visualization objects that are only available in analysis mode. This video will only review the most important visualization objects and their special features. First, I will show you visualization objects for the graphical representation of measured values. The most important object here is clearly the post-process graph, which you have perhaps already become familiar with in online visualization. You can create the object directly from a channel and from the ribbon bar. You can creatively adapt the style and layout of the graphs to your needs with a variety of options. If you want to create different measurement types in one graph, just add more axes. You can then simply drag and drop the channels into the desired axis ranges. However, you can also simply drag another channel into the graph and have a new y-axis created for this channel afterwards. Especially when measuring over a long period of time, it is often important to know exactly when something happened. To do this, you simply need to adjust the format of the x-axis. In analysis mode, you can load not only one, but also many tests. This allows you to visualize all forces of a test set in one graph. Each test is provided with an index, which is also visible in the legend entry. Now I add the channel total force from the first three tests of this test series into a graph. Each legend entry contains the index of the respective test. With this check mark, you can establish the reference to the actual measurement file. You can also adjust the legend entry via the curve properties. Here, you can also change all other properties of the respective curve. To see details in the graph, I recommend the horizontal zoom, which is especially helpful for reviewing data over a certain time. This is the trigger time of all these tests. You can then zoom out step by step with zoom out or completely with zoom reset. The section tool is both powerful and easy to use. After you have selected a range, you can determine the statistical data of all channels used in the post-process graph. Or create a copy of the subrange so that you can then mathematically process or export the subranges of these channels. You can also cut out this section to eliminate unwanted effects. Create an FFT of the subarea, or edit the data in the subarea with corrections and other options. Your original data will always remain untouched because you only created copies. You can also use a cursor to display values at the cursor position. Use this point as a reference to measure the distance in between with another cursor. The cursor graph is predestined for such tasks. In addition, the cursor graph also has the selection tool. Access to the cursors has been made even clearer in the cursor graph. Here you can simply make the second cursor visible. Between the two cursors, you can now measure differences, zoom, create new data records from the data, delete the data in between, rescaling the data in between, or simply create the statistical values. 
The angle synchronous graph is predestined for the display of measured values over a certain angle range. This is particularly useful for piston machines such as combustion engines and piston pumps, but also for other duts where the angle of rotation is measured. In the analysis mode of Catman, you have access to a large number of tables with a wide range of features. With the data table, you can easily display the values of an entire channel. This is useful, for example, if you only want to display a few measured values in a channel. Here I load the measured values of a calibration. The flexible table is a very powerful visualization object. If you drag a measurement signal on the table, a selection window opens. In the selection window, you can select from the selected channel both statistical values like minimum and maximum, but also metadata, or insert complete measurement data into the table. Leave the selection selected and drag another channel into a table field to insert the value from this channel as well. But the table can do much more. As you know from Excel, you can create several tables in one object. The type of cells can be defined. If you use the cell type numeric cells, you can also do calculations like in Excel. With the CAN raw table, you can display the recorded CAN messages in a table. In this table, you can see the timestamp in the message. If the DBC file is available to you, you can also display this table filtered by a specific message or display only the translated value. The metadata table contains all the essential parameters of a test. For example, you can find all the test parameters of the current test there. With one click, the table is created and fills itself. If you have loaded multiple tests, simply drag the entire test onto the object. The traceability table contains all important parameters of a channel. This enables you to display the conditions under which the measurement was generated after the measurement. The sample rate, the amplifier used including its serial number, zero point, and sensor scaling are displayed for each selected channel. With the statistics table, you can easily visualize the statistical signals of one or more channels. If the number of values is too large for you, you can also reduce the displayed parameters to minimum, maximum, and average. With EasyScript, you have the possibility to access text boxes, check boxes, list fields, as well as tables, graphs, and much more via VBA. But this is the topic of a separate video. As you have seen, the visualization in analysis mode is powerful and yet intuitive to operate. Professional trainings are available at our HBK Academy for beginners and advanced. Of course, also for Catman. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to contact us. See you next time.